Alexander, congratulations on the win. Just uh, play through those those last three rounds. A dangerous guy in front of you. How did you feel the fight went? Yeah, thank you very much. Yeah, Thiago, the sledgehammer, they call him. A very dangerous guy, number two ranked. Uh, he fought John Jones and uh, lost by split, split decision. He is a very dangerous guy, and I felt it right away in the octagon uh, when the fight starts. He was really... Uh, he was focused, he was uh, paying attention on my punches because he wanted to counter me so hard. And yeah, I, I, I had an amazing camp and I worked a lot on my boxing and on my reaction and keeping the distance. And, and also on my grappling, you can see I, I got promoted by a brown belt. Uh, by brown belt, that's amazing. And uh, yeah, I had a hell of a camp and uh, yeah, I dominate him all three rounds and I'm happy about my performance. Can you talk about uh, just him being so powerful and looking to counter you? How did that kind of um, have an impact on which shots you were throwing at him? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it didn't, I didn't felt so, so much uh, so secured like I used to do in the boxing because I know he has a, he has a hammer, but the hammer couldn't catch the rocket tonight. Uh, and I was picking my shots and chopped the legs. I hit him, I think, with one high kick. Very good. So, yeah, a win is a win. It doesn't matter how. Did you, uh, did you see this brown belt coming or was that a surprise to you? Yeah, no, it was a surprise. I, I know I've been working with, with my, with my bro, brother. If I say coach, he's going to choke me out right away. Uh, the last months, a lot on of grappling, like three times a week, heavy grappling, sparring, and I improved my grappling on a different level. And I didn't expect to get promoted after this win and, and here, and then I didn't expect it. But uh, it's, it's like an extra motivation for me, and it's one of my dreams to become a black belt uh, later. How confident are you that uh, this version of yourself right now that we have could be a UFC champion on any given night? I'm 100 million percent confident I can be the world champion right now. I mean, uh, the, the control, the distance, uh, or how I fight, the, the, the wrestling area, the grappling. You know, basically, John did the same in the last fights in, in the light heavyweight division. He kept the distance and picked the guys apart and won, you know. So I'm not going to follow John and how he win fights. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Alexander Rakic and I'm going to be the new light heavyweight champion and the new face of the light heavyweight division soon. Where do you think you go from here? I mean, there's not much room left between you and the top. Looks like Glover Teixeira is going to get that next shot. He weighed in as an alternate for this card. Do you think you wait for that, or would you like to stay active in the meantime? I want my shot. I mean, this is the third former title challenger in a row I fight. I beat all of them, and uh, I want my shot. And let's see what happened in the main event. Let's see if, if Izzy wins, if he comes back to the light heavyweight or not, or he's going to come back to the middleweight. But if he don't come back to the middleweight, let's get the interim title, me and Glover. So, yeah, if Jan wins, I'm, I'm, I'm going to see how, 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 uh, how UFC is going to decide it. But, man, like I said, I'm a, I beat just a rank number two, and I want this title shot. I'm young, I'm hungry, I'm motivated, and... What else? I represent the MMA sport in the best way. Yeah. Alexander, congratulations on another UFC win. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.